now i want to all to take you to the fourth example uh yeah so this example is majorly related to creating pivot tables charts on a larger data set so we have a data set in front of me this data set has a uh, this basic this data set is basically related to leaves data of an organization so if you see column a has the employee name b is the type of leaves that each employee is taking and this is the start date of the leave to end date of the leave and this is the month on which it is taken and total number of days uh, wherein the leaves were taken so if i want to do any analysis around this particular data set uh, i would definitely need to have uh, need to know how to create pivot table so what i'll do again i'll go to chat gpt i'll quickly give wait a second yeah i'll quickly give a simple form i have defined all my columns uh, what each column mean here and i have asked chat gpt to help me create a pivot table where i can see total leaves taken in each so this is a very simple pivot table that i want wherein uh, month wise distribution of total leaves will be visible and then i need a chart created uh, from this particular table and then i need another pivot table which or additionally adds bifurcation of leaf types so i have given a very simple prompt here uh, as soon as you hit the send button chat gpt will give you a very simple instruction you just have to follow them one by one uh, yeah i'll go back to my sheet i'll follow each of those instructions since i already no all those instruction i have gone through it i'll i'll just do them one by one first of all i will select my entire data i'll go to insert and click on the pivot table i'll create create a new sheet and if you if i go back to the chat gpt it has mentioned that in the rows column uh, i have to add month and in the values i have to add total number of these are very simple instruction it's very specifically mentioned in the chat gpt output so this is the first table that i created and then i want to have a chart around it so i'll just select the entire data again everything uh, all of these instruction is mentioned in the chat gpt box and i will yeah can you zoom in once more oh my bad then really sorry yeah see so yeah so this is the table and i want to create a chart out of it so i'll select the entire data range i will insert chart here see i have a chart here and if you want you can change the chart type any bar graph pie pie chart whatever you want so right now i'll just keep the default one and uh, yeah so i have also asked for one more pivot table and as per chat gpt i have to go back select the entire data range and again insert a pivot table okay i have to insert it in the existing sheet because all my calculations are being done there i'll click okay create one more pivot table i'll follow the same instruction i'll add month here i'll add a uh, total number of days here and since i want to add that information of type of leaf i'll add it here in my columns yeah so see we have bifurcation of all my leaves yeah yeah and if i just to give a background color here this looks neat and i can add a slice it here just to give a, a cool look uh what i'll do i'll go i'll go to data i'll add slicer i'll select my data range and i'll add one so now this is a quick quick dashboard that i've created 90% of the information is flowing from chat gpt i think i have additionally added a slicer here with my own personal information but apart from it uh, apart from it everything is flowing from chat gpt i'm not i haven't done anything uh, new here so you know you can deselect 
any month your entire data range will change here so this is a quick dashboarding that you can do with the help of chat gpt yeah so this is the end of the fourth example